Welcome back to the channel everyone, I hope you like doing absolutely well, this is Eti back with another video. So today it's gonna be the review of the POSP ROM based on Android 10 for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So without any further ado, let's now get started. So here is my Redmi Note 5 Pro and guys this is the first time I am reviewing any Android 10 ROM on the Redmi Note 5 Pro on the channel and I think so this is the first ever ROM built for the Redmi Note 5 Pro which is based on Android 10. Yes there were previously like GSIs available which were not all stable but this thing is pretty good but still it's an alpha build guys it is highly experimental so I don't recommend you guys to use it as your daily driver but there isn't any major issues which I found till now like the calling is working, even the mobile data should work fine, camera is working, fingerprint scanner is also working. I'll be talking about PUBG gameplay in the later part, so do watch this video until the end. So going into the settings menu, let me first show you the settings menu. So going into the about phone and the Android version. As you can see, the Android version is Android 10. Here it is, looks really nice and I hope Android 10 is also developed and it should be released for Redmi Note 3 Pro 2. So here it is. Good stuff over here and the security patches of September 5, 2019, the play system update it says Android 10. The kernel version here is Illusion Plus and the version is 4.4.192. The kernel is pretty good, it's doing a fair job of optimizing the gameplay and also the battery life. So talking about digital well-being, here it is guys, there is a force close. So when I first booted the ROM, the digital well-being was working but now it's not working, I don't know for what. I tried to do like everything possible even to clear the memory let me show you that and going into storage clear storage so this will clear everything with what it has recorded yep as you can see it's working absolutely well and even the recorded part is showing fine so there is a force close in digital well-being like after a while it will give a force close again so talking about security and location fingerprint scanner is working absolutely well for me let me show you the speed as you can see fast enough and like 90% of the time the fingerprint scanner is working absolutely well I didn't had any issues with the fingerprint scanner so talking about the location location is also working fine as you can see but it says no app have requested location recently whereas Antutu benchmark and some other application use location I mean they request like location permissions too but it's not showing up over here and I'm not 100% sure whether the location is 100% fine or not. I need to test it using Google Maps. So if anybody can do that, it would be really helpful because I'm running short of time. It should work fine by the way. So going into the privacy, as you can see, there is a new option over here like ads, activity control, etc. This is basically all regarding the Google. Here it is. And talking about the display, let me show you the options like tap to wake, which is not working. As you can see, tap to wake is not working in this room. Not a big deal. It should work in the next update. And the nightlight is working fine. I have already tried it. And even the intensity, you can change that. And also talking about adaptive brightness, it is also working absolutely well. I have disabled that for the moment. So talking about the customization option, guys, as you can see, there are no any major customization options over here in this room. As I told you earlier, this is just an alpha build and this is the first ever build for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Yes, another build was available on 16th of September. This is the 18th of September build, which is the latest build, at least at the time of recording this video. So Wi-Fi is also working absolutely well. Even the Bluetooth seems to work absolutely well. Till now, I didn't have any bugs with the Bluetooth or anything like that. So talking about other stuff like the Antutu benchmark and performance, let me go into Antutu results really quick. And I'm extremely sorry if I'm doing anything wrong. This is the first time I'm using Android 10 on any of the devices. That's why I may be wrong a little bit, but I'm not sure. Apologize for that. So going into the results, as you can see, you can pause the screen and have a look at it if you want to. Here it is. 1,11,261. This is just amazing and the score is just awesome over here as you can see as i told you earlier the performance in this room is really good i didn't have any issues not even minor lags in the system the app opening times are lit as you can see extremely fast and even the camera app is working fine here as you can see the shutter speed works well you can change the settings from here like resolution and quality but the 4k video recording is not working in this room guys let me show you that as you can see, it gives error over here. Let us try 1080p really quick. So going into the settings and let me change that to 1080p really quick. Okay. 
Yep, 1080p is working fine, but this is because of the lights. Yes, because of the lights, nothing like any issue with the camera. Still, the 4K video recording isn't working. It should be fixed in the upcoming builds, by the way. And the sound output in this room is really loud, guys. It's awesome. It's like at least 10 to 15% better than Pi rooms, what I have noticed. Sound output is really good in this room. So talking about the PUBG gameplay, PUBG was running absolutely well in this room. A big thumbs up to the developer because I was able to play PUBG on HD and the frame rate was on high. Yes, in recent times, I have seen that some of the Pi rooms doesn't come with that option. I thought that's because of the latest update of PUBG, but I think so that's not the case over here. This room is supporting HD option and the frame rate was on high and the gameplay was just amazing as you can see from the gameplay here. It was working buttery smooth. I played continuously for like half an hour TDM matches and for one TDM match it had just drained 3% of battery even that is really good and moreover the gameplay was really awesome. Again a big thumbs up to the developer and the POSP team. So talking about the battery life guys let me show you my battery usage really quick and I apologize for this type of setup because I have some problem with the setup here. So as you can see, when I first booted the ROM, the device was somewhere around 50% of charge. Later on, I played PUBG, I watched YouTube videos, and did a benchmark, and I also used a couple of small applications, and this is not showing properly over here. As you can see here, a couple of mixed usage. Now the battery is down to 20%, and it says 3 hours ago and 1 hour 32 minutes left till now. So for detailed information, you can follow me on Instagram. I'll have a link in the description, and there I'll upload story of this screenshot after using it for like two more days and my opinions about the battery life in this room is that battery life is really good in this room guys yes it is really good and there isn't any bugs with the battery life too so talking about the fm radio as you can see you can use it but you need to connect a headphone that's really good so this room doesn't come with any major g apps so i'll have all the links in the description you need to download unofficial g apps for this one because i think so for android 10 it's not at available g apps that's why the developer had given the basic version of g apps which is like 85 mbs you need to download that and flash it as soon as you have flashed the rom itself later on reboot the device and it should work fine so you need to download some of the applications which you want like I downloaded YouTube and if you want any other applications like Gmail etc you need to download you only get basic G apps as I told you earlier like the Play Store. Installation is pretty much straightforward guys. You need to have TWRP recovery installed for which you need to have an unlocked bootloader and once you have TWRP just wipe the required sections and flash the ROM. After flashing the ROM flash the G apps that's it and reboot the device it should work absolutely well. So this was a quick little review of the POSP ROM running on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also do follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I'm active over there. You can ask me any questions regarding tech. This is all about technology 24 7 Signing off for the moment. You guys have a great day. Peace.